Everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Vile Files Freestyle Edition. I'm your host, Nick, joined by Allie and Amanda, who are now in different spots because we are in a new studio. Uh, this is the premiere of our new studio. Yeah, check out the wide. Nice Ooh. Ooh, uh, yeah. For those watching <laughs> on YouTube, I mean, we love you know uh, the fact that most of these people, these people. Most of the people listen to this show. Uh, <laughs> these depraved these individuals. These people <laughs> on audio. But if, uh, if you're curious, uh, take a peek over on, uh, on YouTube and check out our studio. We'll be sharing some behind the scenes. You'll see a big candle uh, you'll to see, entice you. Uh, yeah. From One big, of the biggest candles right. I've ever seen. From Big Ass Candle, a little plug. Uh, they hooked it up. Um, so thank you. I love their I love their candles. Also, thanks Ruggable for the rugs. Shout out. Just a shout out to our, our friends at uh, Ruggable. And then we just did the rest ourselves. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. We're uh, uh, exciting new things to come here on the Vile Files, starting with uh, obviously this new studio. We also have our new AMP show, Better Date Than Never, premiering this Thursday night uh, on AMP. It's a live show, 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, no, I'm, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific. All things dating. A, think of it as like a dating boot camp. We're helping people get ready for dates. We're helping people uh, break down their dates, talk next steps, maybe shoot their shot on dating apps. It'll be super interactive. It's live. Allie, me, uh, and Amanda will all be on there. Other people, uh, f people listening can pop in and join the conversation. So it's a little bit more of an intimate experience with us. So we hope you all take the time right now. If you're interested, go ahead. If you, you have to have an iPhone. I don't know. They haven't expanded to Android yet. But if you are interested, go ahead, go download AMP in your uh, Apple eyes, Apple store, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, AMP, it's free and it's live and it's fun. And again, it's interactive. So I hope you all check it out. Any Anything we need to add, ladies. And also, if you know that you have a date that you want to break down, talk through, was it a red flag? Am I being too picky? Uh, if you need to get hyped up because you're scared. You're a little nervous. You're not yeah. sure what to, to say on the this date. Well, well, we'll We're we'll, here for you. We'll so. figure out who you're on a date with, what other, you know, we'll help prep you so you'll feel fully prepared. And then for those of you who aren't interacting but just listening, I think it'll be super fun. It'll just kind of feel like you're in the the room with us so it uh i hope you join and if you know you want to come on feel free to send us an email so that way we can prioritize you and also i would say set a reminder on your phone for 6 p.m pacific 9 p.m eastern because i'm a forgetful lady i would want to attend something like that and then completely miss it yeah. so if you are also a forgetful person don't do that uh also <laughs> she said yes i am officially Woo! engaged yeah. i know i know uh the other day i was like i think i'm engaged because we recorded our intro to Ask Nick, and I was about to propose, knowing it would drop. I was like, I think I'm okay. So anyway, but uh, yeah, very exciting. It's been amazing. Natalie will be our guest for Going Deeper. That drops on Thursday uh, during the day in preparation for the AMP show. But be sure to check that out. We basically kind of talk everything about our proposal, uh, our engagement. We do that a lot. Um, you know, all things as it relates to our conversations before, obviously the day of, and uh, it was a really fun episode to record with her. A little emotional, but fun. And I hope you all check it out. It was really fun to share that story with you all. And I hope you, uh, uh, yeah, I hope you all check it out. It's an intimate episode uh, and a lot of fun. And there's a great texting office hour call attached to it. Well, that brings us to our wonderful guest, Lisa Swartz returns. Yes. Schwartz. Schwartz. Did I do it wrong? Did I do Swartz. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's preface this by saying when I got here, he was like, I practice, I practice, I know how to say your last name. It's Schwartz. And then, nope. yeah. What did I say? Swartz. Schwartz. That was better. Yeah. Swartz. Nope. Maybe eighth time's a charm. Schuler shoes. Sh May the Schwartz be Schwartz. with you? Be I said it totally fine. You d definitely did. I believe that you know my last name. You're like, yeah, I mean, how do you say it? And I said Swartz. Schwartz. It's Schwartz. No, Schwartz. Schwartz. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm in my head. Okay, like like shh, L like you're a librarian. Lisa. Lisa shh, Schwartz. 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 Shh. I have my problem. With, I have problem with S H's. What if I just got up and left? Yeah, 
I would if I were you, Lisa. It's not that I don't know it. I. Your brain goes rogue no, every time it, it's time to say the just, SH. <laughs> Your brain says, I'm going to fuck with you. <laughs> Anyways, good to see you, Lisa. Nice to see you, Welcome too. back. Hey, congratulations. I'm so excited thank for you. you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank you. It's really exciting. Do you feel different? No. No, I feel, I f- it feels right. You know, it feels, uh, Guys. It, it feels like I caught up to where I, I, I felt and, and now it's like official. Yeah. But- yeah, it's just, it's fun to enjoy, uh, and I'll spare people some of the details we get into. But yeah, it just it feels feels good. Yeah, it feels and that good. ring, you did a good job with that ring. Yeah, thank you uh, for the people at uh, Brilliant Earth who helped me pick out that ring. It's particularly my cousin Mary, uh, who works for Brilliant Earth. I was I'm a lucky guy to have some great people around. Me. A brilliant choice, indeed. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, I uh, I I was. I, when I saw it, I was like, oh my, <laughs> damn. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's quite striking. It is. Yeah. yeah. Well, you showed me, you showed me the photo when we were here one day and it just struck me as the type of ring that had so many additional details to it. So I was like, show me the underside. And he was like, what? And I was like, is there a photo of the underneath? Cause I guarantee it's also as brilliant. And sure enough, he swiped and there was one from the bottom and it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. Good job. Thanks. You're doing good. I appreciate it. Impressive. What's going on with you? What's new? I, I'm living the married life. It's real fun. Any notes for me? Um, just communication. <laughs> it seems so simple, but it's hard. Oh, we work very hard on it. We make it a priority, but good yeah. to know that we're on the path. Yeah. yeah we... And like planning a wedding is actually like super fun, but there's also so many stresses. But just remember that it's ultimately like about you guys. Yeah, and that's all that matters, and everything else will fall into. Place. I'm not too worried about that because I think we kind of know that already. But I'm not really worried about the wedding planning stuff. I feel like you, you don't know, feel like family members are going to try to like get up in there. We uh we both love our family dearly. Um, I think we're close with our family. Um, uh, but we we both of us have no problem setting a boundary. Oh yeah, with you know, fantastic. It's you're welcome to be a part, you know, it's just kind of like, this is how it's, ha- this is what's happening. Great. And we all, our, our moms are really similar in the sense that they're just very loving moms who aren't, you know, every, every, all parents are great, but you know, some parents are a little more. Have some more healing to do perhaps. Yeah, just a little That's bit more. That's such a beautiful way to yeah, say it. You know, you know, just insert themselves a little bit more than other parents yeah you know Nally's the youngest of seven i'm the second oldest of 11 i think part of that is just oh like, my god did you know i what? know that i feel like i didn't know natalie was the youngest of seven yeah oh this is gonna be a big wedding i guess yeah but like and i think there's a benefit to that i think both of our parents just like had other shit to do than other than be helicopter parents perfect you know and so i think we've uh ultimately both benefited from that uh, tune in on Thursday for a lot more about our engagement and things like that. Uh, any be- Wait, okay, what? yes. I have something that is has been top of mind since I read this headline, and I would like to debrief it with uh, the okay. room. I'm yeah, so yeah. excited. <laughs> Which is that the chain smokers of um, Closer, but also best chain smokers Closer. That was my favorite. <laughs> not <laughs> Roses. Not, you know, they sing the song Closer. Chain smokers of, of closer, closer fame. Is that one of their songs? Yeah. Nicholas. Like, I know the Chainsmokers. I couldn't, and I'm familiar with their songs. If I if I heard one of their songs, but you couldn't I, pull one. I was. I could say that's the, oh, it's the Chainsmokers. Yeah. But tell me the name one of their songs. Sam. No idea. And you know, I think that no, no shade to Chainsmokers fans. But I think you might be better for that. Being at a point in life where you can recognize, but not necessarily recall Chainsmokers songs. But like when it comes to music, I'm I'm dumb. Like I'm I don't know a lot about music. I am too. Yeah. Very much. I'm the guy who's just like. Oh, what a great new song. And people are like, it's been out for like a year, dude. You know, like I'm, I'm not an intelligent. It's hard to keep up. Yeah. People I'm... get so snobby about it though. Like, oh yeah. That is one of my biggest like kind of, I don't know, I pet peeve. It, like it just like activates something within me when people try to act like very superior for having 
scouted a song and just like you know how like I feel like there's this culture where it's like in college I was embarrassed to ask what a song was called because there was very much like oh you don't already know this already what are you doing in film school like if you don't <laughs> oh, have a sure. good that just feels culture. like Northwestern as a whole I don't know if that has anything to do with music I think that's just the people we went to school with but it is such <laughs> a thing like there's certain people who I About can tell everything. like their music taste is so important to them in a way where they are like condescending about it yeah I don't music feel fans like, I don't music feel like I can, can ever very, say like yeah. oh I'm really into like pop music like when people are like what are you into and I'm like oh you know like Billboard Top 100 that feels like a sin Dis- saying Taylor Swift feels like oh you white bitch like destigmatize it <laughs> I know way more Taylor Swift songs than I do <laughs> chain smoker songs that's well, for sure the reason they are even being brought up today is because they revealed that they have on multiple occasions have had threesomes with fans and, the and they did a song call her daddy give her yes. a little shout out yeah. to shout out Alex Brenda show she got she got the goods out of them and they, so, so did they, other people they have they have threesomes with fans yes, yes. so it's two dudes uh huh and they just pull in a fan. Uh-huh. That's a weird thing. And it's happened multiple times. That's weird. It's, it's tough, man. I feel like but it's just it like takes like the groupie mentality to a different level a whole because new it's level. not just like you and a fan. It is it would be like Amanda and I if we went to like one of your book signings and been like pulled in a listener. <laughs> like it would affect our relationship. I suppose one time where I don't know, maybe they're doing some drugs. You're in Ibiza. Shit got weird. <laughs> One and time, it, one and, time. And the yeah. next thing you know, they're like, our dicks are out. And it's just like, I guess. But like, and then you kind of like, holy shit. But then that second time. Yeah. Maybe is this their like way of slowly revealing that they're. With, into each other? Yeah. Yeah. This is just like their slow reveal. Yeah. They'll be, I don't well, want to kink shame whatever you're into. God bless. But yeah, like that's a real. Well, they have to have some attractive to each other did they explain so, why if they're in no and they said that it hadn't happened like it seems like they were kind of like oh wild story and then we were like no, yes w- let's focus on this and so I don't know that they said they were like it just kind of happened like the no, multiple no. times it. wait it is it because a fan came out like against them it or... doesn't kind of happen I do think I were they trying like... to get ahead of it it's uh, that's an interesting point. Like, was this like, going to break? It was like, and they were like, "I want to control the narrative." Yeah. Like, I wonder if one of them was really sensitive about the other one having a lot more sex, and was like, and so then to mitigate that other one's feelings, they were like, "Let's have a threesome." Well, you think no, it was more being a, like, no, a, said, "Hey, man," like a good friend. Yeah, you think one of his, hey, she wants to have sex with you too. The DJ couldn't get laid. I, I don't know if I buy no, that. Not, no, I but it, they said it was during the days where they were like when they would be on tour and they would have to share hotel rooms. So was, that's why they were like, "This is a long time ago when we used to share hotel rooms." And they said in Europe, they. Uh, don't even split the two beds apart. So they were like, we were, our hands were forced. Like oh, we were on. in the same room. Again, Why did this story just come out? Again, the first so time, random. the first time, I'll believe all of those excuses. But the any time after that, it's more like you're. It's you're into it. It's a king. Yeah. Question for the group: If you had to have a threesome with a musical duo, who would the you Wiggles? Have a threesome with? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's there's four of them. I know. <laughs> Am I even allowed to answer this question as a newly engaged man? Yeah, watch yourself. Um, not n- maybe not from a personal attraction desire, but who do you think would be the best like people? lover? Yeah, yeah, or like the most who, generous threesome. <laughs> in terms of their dynamic, they would keep vibes okay and good. Can we get some do du- like again? I'm not music. I don't. I know we're both like my- trying to think of uh, any duo. Like, uh, uh, so- <laughs> Hall and Oates, Simon and Garfunkel, um, Sonny and Cher, Harry Styles, I guess maybe. He but seems with... like he'd be a generous lover. Yeah, he definitely would be. Yes, just Harry Styles. I feel, I feel like he would check in a lot. Yeah. Yep. Hey. Yeah. Everything okay, love? Yeah. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Uh, Who would you? And, um, sorry, I was just getting lost in the fact that I was like, I'm and. Please, I'm sure he's a very generous lover. And no Harry stands get mad at me. But I do think, you know, there's a certain kind of guy where you're like, you everything about the way they engage in the world, you're like, okay, you, all green flags, you seem like you'd be a very generous lover. And then they surprise you. And they're selfish. And mm. it's the artists. I can see the headlines now. Amanda thinks Harry Styles <laughs> is a selfish I mean, lover. I'm not saying he's one of them, but I did, it did cross my mind. What I, about John Lennon and Paul McCartney? Would you have a threesome with them? Epic. Yes. Just to say you did. <sighs> Simon and Garfunkel. There is this crazy... Millie and Vanilli. <laughs> <laughs> Salt and Peppa. Mm. 
I like that we're pulling the oldest references. <laughs> I don't think Vanilla Ice and duos MC like recently. I mean, yes. like I keep trying to find someone who's more relevant. Relevant. Chain smokers. <laughs> Other than them, yeah. Mm. LMFAO, but that sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, that wouldn't. Mm -hmm. So okay. Yeah. Did they describe their threesomes and like? Did yeah, it... they said that. Um, can I can I redo a direct quote? <clears throat> can we get a voice? Yeah. In like a dude voice. Sure. Yeah. Um, we're just frat bro dudes. You know what I mean? Loving ladies and stuff. <laughs> Even before success, pussy was number one. Oh no. Like, why am oh. I trying to make all this money? I want to hook up with hotter girls. Oh no. I had to date a model. Okay. Honest. <laughs> When he said pussy is number one, was he speaking <laughs> in terms of like how that was actually he used 20, to talk? That was a 2016 interview, so it wasn't the caller daddy, but okay. that has been said. How old are they? Let's look. Probably older than you want them to be. How old were the fans? Truly. Uh, one, one of them was born in 89. The other one was born in 85. Yeah. Older than I want them to be. Yeah. Uh, and they did say, they did clarify, I don't think we've ever hooked up with a diehard fan. No one wearing merch or anything. And I'm like, that's where they draw the line? I guess. <laughs> you can't wear a t shirt of their faces while you I mean, I appreciate hook up with them. standards, you know? Yeah. I'm trying to do something new. I don't know. I feel like you always go, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's how we usually start these. Brooklyn's things. family to me. They are. They're great. They're every, everything about everything about them you have a very well stocked home because of your brooklinen and if i may be so bold brooklinen sent us some christmas presents including um a silk pillowcase and a silk eye mask and i've been using both they're, of them their eye masks every Incredible. night yeah and i feel like it's better for your hair it's better for your skin like uh I, i've noticed definitely an improvement in how my hair looks in the morning how my acne has been improving i really? love this pillowcase i just love their material and their fabric their sheets their comforters duvet covers are all season comforters and if you're someone who's like has a tendency to sleep hot what i love about the all season duvet cover well it's great for all seasons it keeps you warm in the winter but it's not hot in the summer everything they do is soft and wonderful it's amazing their prices because you could pay so much for this type of product you got to invest in the stuff that matters. And I feel like everything they sell, whether it's bedding, whether it's, yeah, loungewear, robes, towels. Yes. That is going to upgrade your home. I'm a Brooklyn customer for life. I love everything they do, everything they stand for. Even the people who work for Brooklyn are great. I met them. They're wonderful. Uh, get all the cozy upgrades of your dream space in all, all in one place at Brooklinen. Visit brooklinen.com today and score $20 off plus free shipping on orders over $100 with code V-I-A-L-L. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com for $20 off your order with code V-I-A-L-L. -L. And Alex said, I think we were like, what the fuck just happened? Because they were never planned. You know what I mean? It's weird. I'm not going to lie. They keep saying you know what you mean as if we're DJs. We, as if we know <laughs> what they mean. <laughs> we literally as don't. As if me and my closest coworker. <laughs> <laughs> like literally I can't yeah, get it like out to of. Know, this to know what like they us. mean, you, you guys would have had to have a threesome. <laughs> and we'd be like, but no one wearing vile With vile a guest. Merch, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> With a fan. With a guest. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Well, it does feel like the chain smokers are following their dreams and they're getting success. No, no, I mean, and thank moment. you for their the comment. Their priority has been it's pussy from day one. That's prioritizing pussy. As right. long as everyone's yeah. happy and it was mm -hmm. consensual. Has there, have there been any fans since then that like made a TikTok to say... I'm shocked if there haven't been. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it was me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, make it. This is your moment. Just, just see if you go viral. This is my brand. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it'd be I good for the, the show. Smokers. I want to be the number one pussy. You're like, but joke's on them and you're wearing chain smokers merch. <laughs> yeah, just do, what, it, do, do, what a, do what one of their TikToks do and just think, be like, it was me. Would they have made someone sign like an NDA? An NDA? They it's a thing. They strike me yeah. as particularly thoughtful unless they have, I think their manager might be like, I know who I'm Waiting outside with. the door of this European hotel room, like, just so you know. <laughs> You know well, sorry, I mean. the beds were shoved together. Oops. All right. Well. Well, they're chasing dreams. Another person chasing dreams, Frankie Muniz from Malcolm in the Middle, has taken up race car driving at age 37, and he said Cute. it was always a dream of his. And I think that is so fun. And I'm curious, have you had any dreams that you would hop into late in life if you were just given like a Ooh. instant free pass? Well, you know, I mean, I've always wanted to be a, a cartoonist for Disney when I was a kid. But I I don't know if I want to like chase that dream now. Do you like to draw? Are you good at it? Yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. What's your style of like cartoons? St- like, is it kind of like, are we talking? I don't draw much anymore. Tim Burton. I got into a painting phase during the pandemic. That he before did. Before Bob Painted Ross. the Eiffel Tower. Very cool. Have you seen any of my Bob Ross work? I think work? so. Yeah. On a spectrum from like Tim Burton to Caillou, where would you say your animation I, falls? Don't come definitely for Caillou, not, I'll fight you. I'm not, not definitely not Tim Burton. I mean, I will. I, I used to draw a lot of Disney characters. Like that was the dream when I was a kid. So that was. What... Do you have anything tattooed that you did? No. no. Oh, That'd actually, be a good next idea. time. Next yeah. time, you're welcome. I'll have to ask mom. She, I think she has my old drawings. Tipple had an old drawing. Yeah. That would be that's, really that's cute. cute. Yeah. Or you could I'll... just get swarts across your chest. <laughs> <laughs> it never works. I don't even want to say it. Swarts. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> What did I say when I started the show? Swartz. Swartz. Yeah. Swartz. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there go. <laughs> Applause sound. You did it. Because there, there's an A. Yeah. yeah. I got to change my name, though. Like, I'm married. I just haven't gone through the steps yet. Oh, it's what, like such a what's your husband's last name? Anderson. Yeah. Which is a lot easier to say. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. basic. Lisa, do you- I know. I, 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 like, I, I wish I had a more basic name. Because- Is Natalie going to take your last name? I think so, and I I don't really give a shit. Um, yeah. I think she likes the idea of us have her. I think we would have the exact same initials. Well, that's fucking cute. Are you guys yeah. gonna name your kids and names? <gasps> yeah, keep it in the family. I doubt it. Like okay. the Kardashians. What are some good end names? Nicole. No, I'm not gonna name my kid Nicole. Why? Nick Nicole. I mean, keep your legacy alive. Nikki, just really go lean in. No. <laughs> no. Nadal. <laughs> Natasha. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. What about Nancy? Not a big Nathaniel fan. Nina. Nate. I'm not even a huge fan of Nick. Yeah. Really? I don't mind my name. Yeah. But Are you and Nicholas. Yeah. Like I, we were mentioning before, Mary. Uh, my my mom's maiden name is Parker. Cute. <sighs> Nick I would have loved to be Nick Parker. That's pretty cool. I think my life would have been different. And I love my life. So maybe would I Would you have been a c- cartoonist with Nick Parker? No, I just, I definitely would have always, I, people would have hit, like, I would have always, ah, hi, I'm Nick Parker. You know, and now I just introduce, I introduce myself as Nick. I don't say my last name. Got like, most it. people don't. Got it, totally. Right? But, but there's Nick some Parker people. Is a Nick Parker, yeah. It's, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, it's very powerful. Parker's a cute name. I, I've always planned oh, on naming my cute. firstborn Parker. That's yeah, really that's cute. cute. And it's, Completely unisex. Yeah. It's a good one. I think I've always thought I would name my firstborn son, but I I think I'd go firstborn. Wow, I really disconnected that in my head, and I was like, you thought you were going to name your firstborn son. Like, that was the name. And I was like, <laughs> what a fascinating name. Yeah, what a name. choice. Yeah, I was like, what well, it's oh, to the point. Yeah. 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 Other, other end names there? Nancy. <laughs> Nancy. Nancy. Fancy Nina. Nancy. Um... Nick. Noah is really popular. Noah. Noah, yeah. I don't love Noah. Uh, Nora. Norm. Naomi. Nolan. Naomi. Yeah. Nolan. Oh, Nolan. Yeah. Nolan. That was my friend who you were like Nolan. Nico. Nash. Nasir. Uh, my Nash. my uh, Nash. my sister yeah. just named her newborn son Nico. Wait, Nash Vial? Can we talk about that? Nash. Ooh, that's like. Nash isn't bad. Are you having a baby? We're breaking news right now. No, right. no. <laughs> Soon, I, I hope sooner than later. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, little well, family. Mm-hmm. Lisa, yeah. do you have something like a dream you would chase if you could completely restart a career and dive into? Dude, every career? day I'm like, let's. I'm gonna change my career. What's it gonna be? Like every day I have a new idea, and I think I could do it. What's today? Nothing stuck. Oh, sometimes I'll, oh, I'm like, I want to be a wedding planner. I thought that would be. Oh. Amen. Ooh. Amen. I've you know? told Nick that's like gonna be probably the number one reason I would leave this job. Really? If You're, someone, yeah, was ready to hire you. Yeah. You are welcome, fun. certainly pro bono, to practice on yours. On mine. Cool. It's cool, for cool, exposure, cool. Ali. Yeah, <laughs> to start my business. Yeah, he'll give you a shout out on yeah. Instagram. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. But maybe Lisa could be your planner for a shout out. Yeah, Lisa, do I you feel know. like you could crack the whip if needed? Like on employees or what? Like, I guess like in just in terms of making things happen. 
like if the if the things are kind of like lagging and you're just like things need to happen and they're not happening, do you think you could are you are you are you saying that Lisa just comes across as maybe too sweet and 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 that she wouldn't not be I to... doubt it. I just don't know what it would look like, so I'm curious. Um could I? I think so. I think it would be very passive aggressive, though. I, I can see you with a little headset and a clipboard, like a okay. real just yeah. look of shame and disappointment. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like okay. I mean, mm-hmm. oh, sure. My husband would say yes. Yes, I could. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Uh, what's up uh, in Bachelor World? Before we get into the bios. All right. Yeah. So moving into Bachelor Tea, um, Nick Vial. Got engaged to his girlfriend, Natalie. Yes, yeah, yeah. I read about that. I know, it's everywhere. Um, Congrats to the happy couple. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about yourself we do. in third person, but as a couple is leveled up. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it, yeah, we, we always congrats to the happy couple. The happy yeah. couple, yeah. yeah. No, but that was definitely, you guys definitely took over, I feel like, the news circuit and still were, even as of this morning, top of E! News' little Bachelor Nation category. That's so exciting. Um, Yeah. It said, after two and a half years of dating, Nick Vial and Natalie Joy are engaged. The reality star and podcaster proposed on January 12th at Create Studios in Venice, California, in an intimate setting, followed by a celebration with their friends and family. Mm. Cheers. It was lovely. That's cool, man. That's cool. I know we discussed last week that Chris Harrison mentioned you in his podcast. He mentioned you again. And he clarified that there is no shade being thrown at Nick, that you actually have been very supportive of him, that you've had him on your podcast, you've had other people on your podcast that are supportive of him, and that he's grateful for that. Uh, He said that you FaceTimed and he saw Natalie's engagement ring and he wishes you nothing but the best. What do you mean by no shade? He just said, so he started out the episode and he said, starting with some headlines, and he read the headline that said, Chris Harrison throws shade at Nick Vial. And then he was like, then there was other headlines saying, Nick Vial throws shade at Chris Harrison. So then he said, Gosh. just to clarify, there's no shade being thrown. That wasn't my intention. I didn't mean to throw shade. Gotcha. Yeah. So it sounds like he's like kind of talking it up to like clumsy word choice and like kind yeah. of comments that he I wasn't. did find it interesting. He mentioned he was like, and then it all made sense because he was saying, I guess, that you guys like touch base. And then he was saying, and then it all made sense because a couple days later, I saw that he proposed to Natalie. So, yeah, he probably didn't want these headlines out around the same time or whatever. And I was like, I didn't want them out because they weren't accurate. Yeah. <laughs> that was my frustration. I think it has less to do with the timing. It definitely was like less thrilled given the week. Sure. But it was uh, yeah. the inaccuracy of uh, the comment that rubbed me the wrong way. But we did chat. Yeah. And uh, I, I appreciate him, uh, I, I suppose, clarifying. The next day, he did send me a very nice text uh, mentioning kind of like, oh, I, it was kind of like my bad uh, kind of on the timing of it all. And then I accidentally pocket FaceTimed him and then he answered. And so we had like an, a, a nice chat last final thing it's small but hannah brown uh said that she is not in a rush to get engaged to her boyfriend adam uh she said quote of course we've talked about it but i'm so great where we're at i think he is too but i do think it could be a possibility at some point but not something i'm rushing how long have they been dating i thought a year or two they moved in together they have a dog it's been a while right yeah yeah um, but she finished by saying, it's actually so funny that I was on this TV show and was the bachelorette, but maybe that taught me I'm just not in a rush for anything. I'm really happy where yeah. I'm at. And it made me remember too, like she, I believe was like 23 on yeah, pretty Colton season oh, and then wow. was like 24 as the bachelorette. And I think growing up watching the show, I was like, these people are so old and so mature. And then I'm thinking about that. I'm like, yeah, she was dating 30 men at the age of 24 like i would have been panicked like i don't even know how you i, mean, I think that. she would have been more than red i mean you know like she's from the south like natalie they're both from alabama and you know, like being from the midwest it's a different mindset you know I, but i think if you don't go what were you gonna say oh no i was just gonna say i do think 23 is the age where there's the maximum difference between your childhood you the way you conceptualize of it and like yeah. adult you because hmm. like now i'm like oh 23 <laughs> it's just like one of those things like um like if it doesn't happen for you in your like early 20s 
and maybe because you went like through a, had like, a bad breakup or something or you were the bachelorette and had a bad breakup like i think you kind of give yourself permission to like wait for the right time mm -hmm. for a lot of people you're not in the race to 27 or 20 <laughs> yeah you or, like, start you're age, like you know what you, yeah you turn 25 you realize everything's fine even though it didn't play out the way you thought it was would would when you were 16 and yeah do you feel like coming off of the show there is that pressure to get engaged like so quickly on the show do you feel like um, people that come off of that and they end up either breaking up or whatever uh, feel the need to wait longer as like an opposite of yeah. that experience. Is there? A I, I can't. I can only that? speak to my own, but I I, I haven't heard that, mm -hmm. so I don't. I can't really speak on other other people. Uh, I think everyone. I, my guess is everyone's different, and yeah. it's different for everyone. Um, I certainly didn't. I don't feel like I overcompensated, but I, you know, when I, I got off the show, I was, and again, more based off of uh, all the things that happened relationship-wise in my 20s and, the, you know, the things we talk about in our show and the advice I give, I certainly try to follow that advice, which is I don't try to set false timelines for myself and, and, and things like that. And I was just comfortable, you know, being patient. Um, so, and it sounds like Hannah's doing... The same thing. Yeah. Good for her. Is she following her sister-in-law on Instagram? Let's look. Let's look, shall we? Here's the thing. If she wasn't following her, like, around the wedding time, will she ever? Is my question. That's a massive fuck you, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I follow all my siblings' s significant others, I think. I certainly didn't do it right away. And it's mostly because of just pure laziness. But, uh, all right. Is anyone we, watching the new show she's on? That like uh, special oh, yeah, forces. Like it looks pretty cool. Survivor. It looked pretty cool. I'm just not. I'm not. No. Seeing anything on TikTok or only TikTok. Hannah Brown fan accounts follow her, not Hannah Brown herself. Hmm. I don't know. Would you ever go on like a reality show that was of the physical competitive nature? I. I I saw that show and thought that looks pretty fucking. You would cool. do it. I was. I thought that was. I was a little envious of Hannah in a sense that I, I don't even like. I. It, I thought. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it was this show, but I'm pretty sure my manager reached out to me and described like some show that had like a lot of physical elements of like that. It's like you could get hurt, and I was like, I have no interest in getting hurt on a TV show. But I remember seeing this trailer. And thought that would be pretty fucking cool. I think it's really, I I think it's really neat to see what you're capable of. You know, from a physical, mental, emotional type of pushing yourself to the limits. I'm I'm attracted to that kind of challenge. Um, so that would be yeah, kind of cool. I think that that would be cool. Yeah, I got approached a long time ago when I was in a different relationship to go on Amazing Race, and we both <gasps> were like, "That's Amanda's. That's Amanda's dream. dream. It's literally Amanda's dream." I was like, "Hard pass." <laughs> I respect not my not, dream. It's not for everyone. I get that, but that is my dream. I've been thinking about it. Ever Have since. you applied? So the issue is that I've asked. I would say more than twenty people. I have said, "Would you be open to not a hard, firm offer, but like a would you be open to going on the Amazing Race with me?" And everyone says no. No, no. P people express interest, but I would really love to find someone who expressed enthusiasm. Not just would you go with me? Is it still on? Would you I would, go with I would, me? Oh, yeah. I know. Oh, yeah, it's still on. Yeah. I do think my current boyfriend, because he works in lighting, so he has to do a lot of like really intense Your physical Your current labor, boyfriend. He would be... For, I it sounded also think, temporary. It really did. No, I just meant like... He's a sweetheart. I feel like... I met him for the yeah. first time at the engagement party. Aww. My boyfriend. Yeah. Current boyfriend, future fiance. Who knows? <laughs> who? Oh! oh. An ex brilliant -er. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but she, like, I feel like it's all about finding someone who'd balance you. I think we'd also be good TV. We're very, we're both, we both like to give strangers the old razzle dazzle and like chat and whatnot. So I want this for you. And he, when I find him so entertaining when he's worked up, <laughs> it, it's still on. It's still, yeah. It's still yeah. on. And CBS. Yeah. A big brother teen couple won this last season, I think. Mm. It's a lot of couples win. Mm -hmm. I think there's something about the balance. Sure. Mm. How, and is it, you just have to finish first kind of thing? It's like, so it's this very intense relay race, kind of obstacle course scavenger hunt around the world. And so in each episode, they probably go to like two, sometimes three different countries or different locations within that. And it usually involves catching a flight, navigating to a point where they have to do a specific challenge that's related to like either like the culture or traditions of where they are. Um, and then there's a mat 
at any given Pretty point. Cool. That's like the pit stop where they kind of finish and you finish episode by episode, like the order in which you place determines your release for the following one. Gotcha. So if you blow people out of the water in like one episode, then you get a huge head start for the next one. And it's like, and sometimes people get on, they'll get the earlier flight and then it will get delayed. And then it's like, even though they did everything right, they're just like suddenly behind. It's bonkers. I have never seen The Amazing Race or Big Brother, but from what I know about both, I think I'd be more inclined to do Big Brother. Because then is it kind of like living in a house and like, yeah, it's like a social, it's a social, social thing. Yeah. It's more like Survivor-esque, right? And like I understanding people's personalities and shit. It's so fun. Yeah. I think I'm to get at that. Yeah. Mm. 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 Anyway, that's it for... That's our bachelor tea. Yeah. You took over Slow. the... Good job. I mean, just you. It's all you. Pretty much just you. Well, then, I mean, well, Dean and Kaylin had a... An engagement party. Engagement party. Yes. Oh. Yeah. A lot of a lot of love in the air. As, what, did, what did you say last week? I was like... Wedding bells are ringing, and you said rice is being thrown. That was like <laughs> the vibe of the week. Yeah, lots of rice. Peter and Kelly made a little red carpet, you know, date. Oh, so, so they're, 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 they're back and strong. Yeah, yeah, they're back. I, yeah, seemingly strong. Yeah, like they're that. they're they're keeping things quiet. Mm -hmm. You know, not not you know, I don't know. Cute. Yeah. Which means they're just they're not doing podcasts or talking about it. Correct. Which, yeah. I feel like that's probably for the best. Sure. I don't. Yeah. Eventually, I think they'll. I mean, I get it. Let's let's Should make sure it works this time. Yeah, you know, yeah. kind of thing. Because then yeah. it always feels more earned if they've been really low key and then they come out with like some like big PDA. Then it's it I think legitimizes it yeah. a little bit more. Good for them. Yeah. Should we get into? Let's do the, the bio. Future Mrs. Zach. Okay. I'm so excited. Every and, season, I'm like, maybe this season I'll take off from watching and just like give myself a break, and then you have me on. <laughs> then I get sucked hooked. in. Get so hooked. I'm in. Let's do. There this. are worse things. It is watch. quite fun, isn't it? All right. Uh, Let's get into the bios. We had a lot of fun last week. We're gonna have even more fun today. And starting Gr us off is Gr 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 Oh. Greer is a medical sales representative from Houston, Texas. It says Greer is bold, is a bold, hilarious woman who isn't afraid to speak her mind. Okay. She was born and raised in Houston, Texas, but took a risk and moved to New York City where she loves living life to the fullest. Greer is loyal and confident and is looking for a partner who can keep up with her quick wit and big personality. She is a hopeless romantic and is a sucker for forehead kisses. Zach... <laughs> Take notes. Oh, okay. Will Greer and Zach have the love story of a lifetime? Now that's a bio. Forehead kisses. Oh, they're so oh, cute and gosh. intimate. You like a forehead oh, kiss. Absolutely. Oh, really? Yes. I was like, daddy issues. But, okay. <laughs> I definitely don't have is that. Is, because no. it's like, it's like non-sexual affection. I mean, Are you going to bring up Allie's, how Allie's in love with her dad? <laughs> no, I was going to bring up her forehead. Her childhood <laughs> forehead. Her childhood. Her one. She's got a wonderful forehead. Great looking forehead. Bring, can we? Can since we have this new desk with a monitor built in, can we bring up? Can you airdrop? Can you oh, airdrop, airdop that over Amanda. and show Lisa? It's a great picture. That again. That. I'm just wondering if that's why you love forehead kisses. I don't. Think, I love I think forehead. There's kisses. a lot of people who like forehead kisses. I don't. Think I. It's just I, I don't of know me. if Nally likes forehead kisses. I don't know. I just don't know what she thinks of forehead. Instead kisses. of asking her, just like just do like, it in a tender moment and see what the reaction is, because I feel like it will be okay. Very. Yeah, they're very intimate. They're very cute. I like them a lot. Oh my goodness, <laughs> you sweet, sweet thing. Can I make that the Vile Files Instagram <laughs> profile? <laughs> yeah, for at least a day. Is that just an angle situation? No. <laughs> no, nope, that's straight on. Yep. Uh, yeah. You really grew into it. Uh, you really yeah. did. Thank you. I would have never guessed. The best is like when people try to start doing the math in their head of like how this was possible. And someone in college finally just concluded it must have been full size, and the rest of my head grew around it because the proportions are just no, so truly, no it bangs, doesn't huh? even look like you. I mean, it's a, you're a child, but like it. <laughs> the ratio is very different. You <laughs> really could have been. I mean, you could have cut my head in half, and that's where my eyebrows were. Yeah, where like, were the bangs? Yeah, we mom. really yeah. made it, Mom. Lois. <laughs> well, those bangs would have been. Long, long. <laughs> <laughs> the, the sort of There's side only so much we could do. Sweet thing. Yeah. So anyway, uh, 
Forehead yeah. kiss. Hey, forehead kiss. Okay. Well, I've learned something new. Forehead kiss is a thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fun facts. Are we supposed to assume that anyone who's not listed as a, uh, Lisa last week, uh, there are at least five or six total packages? Okay. Uh, like it, you know, <laughs> queer is the total package. Uh, oh, uh, really? You know, they, it's just, it described as that, not in his okay, opinion. Okay. That, yeah. It was, it was written out many times. And we were just trying to figure out what the does that mean? Package. And then when you're not a total, like. And then if not. What are you? There were so many total packages. How many of these, like, they're giving clues, like, she's not afraid to speak. She um, has a big personality. Are yeah, we is queuing she up the villain? Villain? I wonder. We should take notes. Well, so what I thought was interesting, so in the fun facts, it says Greer loves to shop at flea markets. Greer says she is never embarrassed. Greer can tell a lot about someone by their sushi order. But what jumped out to me more than anything is what, what? all of these bios are written as Greer is this and Greer is that, da 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 da. And then suddenly Greer says she is never embarrassed. Why is there like that little connotation of, well, she says it. But are we certain? Oh, so maybe we're going to see her get embarrassed and it's going to uh-huh. be bad. Because the rest is so confident. And suddenly we're getting, Greer says she's never embarrassed. She's never embarrassed, but... I think Greer is a hoot and a half and a fun hang, and I think she's going to be beloved. She she seems like... She's real cute. Yeah, she seems likable. It's a likable picture. Mm-hmm. And it's like when when it comes, when like quick wit, hilarious, like I feel like there's enough that it's, it's okay. not just someone being like, I'm so funny. Like everyone thinks they're funny <laughs> and everyone's funny to someone, I'm sure. But this, I feel like she's like a, f- a centrally funny lady. She's a goofball. <laughs> she loves a flea market. Right, moving on. All right. Holland. 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 Holland, Holland. Holland kind of looks like they all sort of look like past contestants, but she's giving me um, Kelsey. Maybe it's Kelsey. Mm. I can see that. Okay. She has a strong face. Yeah, she does. Strong arms too. Look at her. Yeah, I feel like yeah. she was on the pageant circuit. Like she's oh, got that kind yeah. of polish to her. Yeah. Where I'm like, wow. Do you want to, Lisa? Would you? Oh, like sure. To... She's spunky and a confident woman who needs a man who can keep up with her energy. The top things Holland is looking for in a relationship are unwavering commitment, loyalty, and a genuine personality. Oh, and he also must love wine and sushi. Hope you're listening, Zach. Pilates and spending time at the beach in her home state of Florida are also important parts of her life, and it would be a huge plus if she could meet someone to enjoy her favorite things with. She knows what she wants, and good luck to anyone who tries to stop her. Oh. Feisty. She's she, definitely going to steal him on a group date. She like, loves yachting with the girls? With the girls. I think, see, at first it's like, why does it say with her girls? He, huge different in connotation because I feel like there's a real there's a, a stereotype of like oh like girls you just want to get on some dude's boat like you're focusing I mean, more on the fact yeah. that it says with her girls than the fact that it says yachting as a yeah. verb well no I'm, I'm with Amanda here I mean I you know I'm yeah when, when yachting with the girls is it just women only on this yacht is her yachting girls. a normal thing no yeah in Boca is it Raton, her yacht maybe. Like, how is she yachting with the girls? I'm very, I am curious about the specifics of the yachting. (laughs) Yeah. Also, very interesting that we use yachting and not just boating. Like, how big are these boats? Well, yachting with the girls implies that, like, one of the girls has a yacht. Or is it her and her girls like to find yachts to go on? I, I feel like perhaps maybe one of her girl's parents is a yacht owner. Because she's 24. That's not a lot of time to get a yacht. Exactly. Not a lot of time. You think it's mom and dad's yacht? You think a 24-year-old has her own yacht? Nope. No, I don't uh, think that either. You know, yeah. maybe maybe she hangs with some badass. Yachting with the girls lady. sounds like it's a regular thing and not Absolutely. mom and not with mom and dad. No, I don't think mom and dad are there. I think mom and dad foot the bill for the gas. You think so? I don't. Hmm. Well, she does not function well without air conditioning, so... I relate to that. Same. <laughs> I really don't. She's an irritable hottie. Oh, guys, wait. <laughs> we didn't even get to this part. Her favorite TV show is... The Bachelor. The Bachelor. That's that's a... She's vulnerable. She's let. She's putting it all she's out She's putting there. it out there. Do we find that concerning that her favorite show is The Bachelor? I find that honest, because if you don't think that at least half of the women who go on this show, it's not their top five favorite shows I, yeah. or it has been one of their I, I actually see that as a 
a pro that she's just owning that she likes the show rather than pretending she's never seen it or she doesn't care. It's not that big of a deal. That's true. She yeah. coming in with the plan? Uh, she might be accused of having a plan. I yeah. Mean, you know. You are kind of setting the bar high for your limo entrance though. Because if you're like, I'm a student of the show, it's like you've had your whole life. Because obviously I feel like a big part of watching the premiere is being like, Whoa, well, I, I mean, do. you know, you know what's <laughs> yeah. gonna happen if she has a, a bad moment or a, a bad edit. You know, the you know what you signed up for. People won't let it, you know certainly oh, won't let her live point. it down. Well, again, I'm I'm very curious about this yachting and yeah. and and because that would tell me how strategic she is or not. Like, because like I, I've never been on a yacht. I don't think I've been on a yacht. Well, either. no, I mean, I guess I guess Bachelor. I guess you'd call that a yacht. I had to go on the Bachelor to get on the yacht. Right. Yeah. What, so it's not what easy. Qualify. What is the distinction between a boat and a yacht? Because you, I, I think over can, thirty feet, maybe. I don't like know. Houseboat. I think how much of a those aren't bag the person own it, who owns it is. <laughs> no, I mean, some. <laughs> is it a size thing? I think so. I, yeah, I, I do think it. I think it's a size thing, and I think there's also connotations of like luxury. Like if you're on a yacht, like right. I don't think anybody's calling like a U.S. Navy ship a yacht, even right. though it's over thirty feet. Insurance marketer. Yeah, I was trying to pick that apart and couldn't quite understand what that means. It, like, is she promoting insurance? It feels like The Bachelor for a lot of these chirons takes like two things that are real jobs, but then it puts them together, or it's just like it. It oh. feels like a. Chat GBT. Yeah, uh, everything I've found so far is like the boat has to be, it's different articles I've found, between at least between like 33 to 40 feet to be considered a, a yacht. yacht. Okay. okay. And may have been judged to have good aesthetic qualities. So mm -hmm. that's the, the luxury. As you get over 100 feet in length, the common turn tends to shift towards mega yacht. Mega yacht. Ooh. Okay. I've definitely heard about it. And when does it become a cruise ship? <laughs> right? <laughs> when you're there you with other people. <laughs> okay, got it, got it. <laughs> This is the second time we're talking about sushi already. Yeah. 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 These sushi gals girls. love sushi and wine. Okay. okay. Moving on. All right. Yes. Yes. Lots of Florida. Florida. Lots of Florida. E-commerce coordinator. Winter Springs, Florida. Something about a town with the name Winter also in Florida is really Confusing. throwing me through a loop. Mm. Winter, spring, two, yeah, yeah. two seasons. <laughs> she looks so nice. <laughs> is she nice? You think so? Yeah. I'm not saying she does. I'm not she saying she looks very mean. Sweet to me. Yeah. Okay. Sweetheart neck. Gentle. gentle. She's either so kind, or like you're going on a double date with like your boyfriend's friend, and she's the like another girlfriend, and she's like gives you nothing. Oh, oh it actually, it literally line. says sweet soul. Wow. She's a sweet soul. Who wants to take this one? Amanda? Okay. Jess is a sweet soul from Orlando, Florida, who says Zach is her dream man. While Jess is one of the younger women, she is mature, knows what she wants in a partner, and doesn't want to settle for anything less than her soulmate. Jess describes herself as a hopeless romantic and is ready for her fairy tale romance worthy of a Taylor Swift love song. Uh, Jess comes from a big Puerto Rican family and hopes Ooh, Zach okay. is ready for her to spice up his Guys, life. I love her. Just hopes Zach is as excited about her as she is about him. Her favorite date activity is playing with puppies. Does Just that happen? Doesn't. I know. <laughs> it's very specific. She's like, yeah, my first is... date spot is always the ASPCA. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> uh, doesn't leave the house without sunscreen. Good girl. Ever. Me Eighty percent of uh, sun damage. What is bananagrams? Okay, it's like Scrabble, but fun and a little freer. So it's like there's all these word tiles in the center and then you go and you try to put all of the, you all start with a certain number, you try to make a little crossword for yourself and then once you've got that, you say peel and everyone has to grab another one. So Jess is, book, book, she's book smart. She's, Guys, I like her. I feel like she's gonna go far. She's cute. I think if, if you say you could play Bananagrams all day long and not get bored, you're, you're book smart. Yeah. Or you just have an expansive vocabulary. And you love games. But chances are <laughs> Probably you were also good at school. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Cute. I, you guys might have mentioned this before, but the pictures this season. So much stunning. better. Oh, my God. So much. Yeah. Do you feel like the last people are all mad that they didn't get these? Pictures? I know I am. These are wonderful. Yeah. Great job. Very professional. Look we'll, at her teeth. We'll redo one for you. Oh, I want veneers so bad. <laughs> oh, here we are. Really? 
Yeah, you have great teeth. I know that's what people say. Yeah, you have wonderful like, teeth. That's offensive to my teeth. <laughs> I know. I'm like, don't look wrong. <laughs> Let's move on to Caitlin, shall we? Whoa, she has a lot of fun facts. How She's you- an ER nurse from Austin. Well, Katie, yeah, Caitlin becomes Katie, is 100% wife material. I would have preferred it to say 98%. <laughs> She's <laughs> almost wife material. <laughs> Nearly there. The Canadian nurse is not only passionate about her career, but she's got a great sense of humor and is extremely down to earth. Katie is looking for her forever Prince Charming and says, quote, I truly hope to find love. I have so much love to give to the right man, end quote. Hopefully, Zach is the right man for her. Katie can't wait to start a family and said that if a man didn't want kids, that would be a deal breaker for her. Will Zach be the one to show this beauty that true love is out there? Only time will tell. The way they refer to her as the Canadian nurse, as if there's one nurse in all of Canada. The Canadian nurse. <laughs> She's so busy. Has blessed us. She grew up figure skating. That's cool. That's impressive. She is not afraid of sliding into the DMs. Okay. Ooh, girl, same. Love that for you. Katie loves roller coasters. She likes... Like, lo- loves them. Mm-hmm. Katie enjoys swimming, but hates that sharks may be swimming underneath her. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe she'll be swimming with sharks this season. Yeah. Never know. Maybe they'll she's not intimidated by monkeys. I mean, an ER nurse, like, that is... It's intense. Yeah, wow. Yeah. It's brutal. She's ready. She's prepared. Uh, Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. Katie. 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 Moving on to Catherine. We saw Catherine on TikTok, didn't we? Uh, Yeah, she set up on my For You page. Oh. What was she doing? I sent it to to Amanda. It it was like... uh, it, 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 what was the TikTok? It was, it was like kind of like a compilation of like fun, happy, silly memory moments. But it was like uh, I'm getting ready to be on The Bachelor, like a countdown or something. Mm. Okay. Yeah. She se- she it, she seemed sp- spunky. Yeah. 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 She seemed like she. Uh... She's also a nurse from Tampa. Okay. Is a vibrant go getter with a witty sense of humor and a glass half full attitude. That sounds like something you would put on your LinkedIn like tagline, you know. Yeah, she loves yeah, spending. Professional. It's it's not fully professional, but it's like seventy five percent professional to me. She loves spending time with her nieces and nephews, and can't wait to have a family of her own. Catherine's career as a registered nurse is extremely important to her. How many nurses do we have? Mm-hmm. But her number one priority is to find her perfect match. Catherine's dream man is loyal, trustworthy, and a great commuter, and most importantly. Her best friend. She is looking for a real man who will enhance her life. And she's ready to put it all on the line to pursue love. Fun facts. People tell Catherine that she looks like Julia Roberts all the time. I can see it. Yeah. Yeah. I can see it. So we have, she's our third nurse so far, but we also have a nursing student. So Mm. four so far. She only glamps, doesn't camp. Hmm. I don't even glamp. So yeah. good for you, Catherine. Yeah. Good for you. She yeah. could live off breakfast pastries. That concerns me. <laughs> to me, to, I was going to say that's a fun fact. Like that, I, there's I, just that, not enough like substance there. What's everyone's favorite I mean, breakfast I, pastry? Croissant. Yeah, yeah, chocolate croissant. A chocolate croissant. Oh. Yeah. Have you ever had like a good almond croissant where there's kind of like? A, yeah, I ooh. ate one off the street of Chicago one time. It was in a puddle. I was one to drop it in there, so I knew where it came from. <laughs> Still eat a commitment. Yeah. I don't know if that's sustainable, but Yeah. Yeah. But I, I do I will say there's a lot of mornings where I'm like, damn, I could use a croissant. I love a good chocolate mm-hmm. croissant. Yeah. <laughs> croissant. <laughs> oui, oui. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Catherine. Next up, Kimberly. Okay. Kimberly. Ho- hospitality manager from Los Angeles, California. All right, Kimberly. Lisa, you want to read this one? Sure. Reading out loud. All right. She is not here to mess around. We're just starting with that, okay? She was in a serious relationship that lasted six years, but she was ready for her forever, and her ex was not. Mm. She's been single for the past few years and doesn't want to just date around. She's waiting for her perfect man. The Puerto Rican beauty's ideal Two date- Puerto Ricans. Would include watching the sunset at the beach with the picnic dinner. Zach saved that idea for later. Kimberly is ready to find her husband and start her family of her own. We've heard a lot about fam- like need for family. She's excited about the chance to fall in love again and can't wait for her bachelor journey to begin. She's 30. I love this for her. 
She loves to drink wine in her PJs. She cannot wait to be a mom one day. And her favorite music is old school hip hop. Mm. Love that. So just so we all know, the five that came out to meet Zach was Brooklyn, Brianna, Bailey, Kat, and Christina. So apparently Brianna if you was weren't one of the first in alphabetical version. order. Correct. You, you were weren't out. made it. Yeah. Gotcha. You didn't I'm so glad that that sentence was What did that say about hip hop? I can't see it. It's her fa- her favorite music is old school hip hop. Okay. Yeah. Fun. Fun. I love that. Yeah. Great pick. Yeah. Sh- sh- something about her like the way she is smizing in this photo is I'm like, I think a corporation would pay so much money to have her advertise something. Like, no matter what she was oh, advertising, yeah. I would probably buy it. Like, she's just got this, like, twinkle in her eyes, but she also yeah. looks kind of knowledgeable with the finger. Uh-huh. Like, well-executed finger pose. It really, it. you're right. Dermatology. Now that I'm, now that I'm looking at it, it's very... Very commercial. Most people couldn't pull off that, lo- that, that shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she looks great. Kimberly did. Yeah. Kimberly did. Also, some fun earrings going on. Oh. How old is Zach? 27? 25. 25. Oh, oh so 25 this is an older woman. Well, Zach was too immature for Rachel, even though he was two months younger. He's 26. Oh, 26. that's you remember that? right. Yeah, he's 26 now. He was 25 when he was on Rachel's season. Interesting. Hmm. I, I, I could see Zach very much. I think I, maybe I've already said this, but I could see him... Uh, not having an issue dating, uh, I bet. I bet there's a in his top four. He's gonna have someone at least three years older than him. Yeah. Or at least two years older than him. I think at least three. Yeah. He seems very mature. Right? Uh, yeah. I, I. I think. He, I think he seems mature for his age, and I think he sees himself as mature for his age. Yeah. Yeah. And they're obviously setting him up with a bunch of women who are like ready, one, to get married, but also f- they were mentioning kids like a lot. Yeah. Which I don't remember seeing that that much before. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, mentioning could, kids could, a lot. I could see her going far. Cute. Okay. Kimberly. Thank you, Thank Kimberly. You. Kylie. Oh, we got another nurse. <laughs> Postpartum nurse from Charlotte, North Carolina. All right. Kylie may be best known as an NBA dancer, but this girl has way more going on than just her killer dance moves and beautiful smile. I like that it says she may be best known because, like, honestly, probably no one who watches the show is like, oh, she must dance for the... Yeah, the Bobcats. I'm like, does maybe? anybody know NBA Nance? And and we should, we should give more credit because it's yeah, impressive. No. But like, I don't know a single NBA dancer by name. Yeah, I mean, is that a thing? But now we do. But now we do. And her name is Kylie. She's her a trailblazer. Kylie. She's like, I'm going to make NBA dancers a household name. Yeah. Outside of her love of dancing, Kylie is a registered nurse who works in a postpartum unit. She is passionate about helping new mothers and can't wait to have a baby of her own ASAP. Another baby combo. Mm. Mm. You're right, Lisa. Something's mm-hmm. going on. She may be only 25, but Kylie is ready for the soccer mom life. So hopefully, Zach is on the same page. Kylie admits that she falls in love hard and fast. So time will tell if this hopeless romantic will be able to find her soulmate in Zach. What is Olaplex oil? Okay, Olaplex is a bond builder. There's a, so she's saying the oil, they do have a smoothing product. I just love how Amanda, like there wasn't even a breath. So passionate. I know so much about like skincare and hair care products. Like not even in an expert way, but I just like feel like I have a weird like lexicon knowledge. Olaplex, it's like, so their most famous thing is Olaplex number three. And it's this treatment that you put in your hair before you shower. That is especially for like people who have like damaged or color treated hair is meant to like repair the bonds. And then they also came out with like a shampoo conditioner and they have a smoothing cream and an additional oil. Okay. Shout out Olaplex. Um, Oh, Kylie. uh, Is Kylie being sponsored by them? She's really. Olaplex oil oil for life for her. Yeah. Yeah. Kylie likes her popcorn smothered in butter and mixed with M and M's. Which Fuck yes. honestly is good. I <laughs> Nally, Nally's dad taught me popcorn and milk duds. Same premise. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, it's, good. it's really good. Yeah. I <laughs> what? No, I just I feel like everyone's gonna be like, "You're disgusting." What I will say is, if you take like a cheesy popcorn and you have it with sour patch watermelon <laughs> together, that sounds foul. Yeah. So do you take like, I, a bite I was like of trying each? to be supportive of it. And then he was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's she your was... process? You mix them together? You just put them in your mouth at the same time. 
Uh, really? You don't? Um, you're just not like. <laughs> Listen, I like to. You actually just stuff like them to, both in. I like to create a bomb in my mouth. I like really strong. And like, like I really like a more appropriate way of this is like I love a salad with like a goat cheese and a fruit. Find okay. that remarkably different than it's, what you know, <laughs> but it's the same. Actually, thing. not. Like no. it's a fruity and salty. Yes. Okay. But but you're adding the sour element. Yeah. I think as we're. What I will say is the few people who have expressed interest in trying it have been very pleasantly surprised. Next time I'm here. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure it's, I mean, if you like the, Indi- I don't, yeah, I, don't, I would hate it. Okay. Wait. But, so if you like that, if you like to create bombs in your mouth, may I recommend if you're ever in Denver, I'll recommend this bar to you and they have this shot that goes in this order where they'll hand you like this flower with a stem. It's you like chew it up. And it makes like your whole mouth kind of go like tingly and numbish. Then you take the shot and then you lick Pop Rocks. And it just is a whole thing. I am in. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Her celebrity crush is Jimmy G. Hottie. It's the first celebrity crush, that, crush that's been revealed to us, is it not? Seems like it. I'm also like, Kylie has marketing down. She's men- she's name dropped Olaplex. She's name dropped M&M's. She's manifesting Jimmy Garoppolo. Like, I think she's making the most of a platform. Yeah, right? maybe. Yeah. All right, moving on. All right. Lekka. Chandra Lekka. Finance right. advisor. Okay. All right. Lekka is a woman of the world. She was born in uh, Chennai, India. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, and moved to the United States at seven years old. Since then, she's lived in California, North Carolina, New York, and Florida. Well traveled. It may take a little while for Lekka to come out of her shell, but her exuberant personality and top notch belly dancing skills yes. are worth the wait. Lekka is ready to find the one, and while her parents' marriage was arranged, they are supportive of her journey to find love and happiness in her own way. Her close knit family ha- has her excited to start a family of her own. Another baby comment. She can't can't wait to meet Zach and says, I want nothing more than to be a great mom and to find my person to share a life with. Fun facts. Massage is Lekka's love language. Didn't realize that was one of them. Physical Glad touch. We're physical touch. Yeah. Now physical yeah, touch. Massage. 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 Is, is she, is it, is it in a receiving or a giving way? Wish very different. Knew. I wish we knew. I and very, both, probably. very important. Going to stagecoach is on Lekka's bucket list. Why? Well, she's got a great start going yeah, on the bachelor. Yeah, her, right? I thought they can't. She's well on her way. Yeah. She, she'll she be there this year, yeah. almost certainly. Uh, Lekka's biggest turn on? Abs. Was Is Zach an ab guy? Can we uh, Google shirtless Zach? She's got great abs. Also, can we talk about the fact they spelled her name wrong? How do we? It's, oh, in no. this one, it's L-E-H-K-A. And above, it's K-A. So one of these is wrong. I, and I, you're totally right. There's several of the like the L E K H A. I love the element about her family. I like would love to meet her family. I think it's very interesting and cool that like their marriage was arranged, but they're okay with this. And I think that dynamic is interesting. Do we have uh, any shirtless pictures of Zach on the internet? There's, oh, there's an ab in there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think the lighting him, lighting is doing him a little bit dirty. We also don't know. He's very handsome. Don't I just, know you know, when like this I, photo was taken. for someone whose abs are everything, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I that feels very like I don't know if it feels very like 2000s to me. What? Like really being into abs and I don't know if that was maybe just like that's when I was like a teen and so it was like abs as a like, you know. <laughs> is, this is not resonating with anyone. Abs. <laughs> I mean, she's a belly dancer, so you know. Oh, that's, that's a great point. Yeah, she's focused. It's maybe on it's the... one of those things where it's like if I'm working hard for the abs. You well, I mean, also I think abs. everyone has like a a, a favorite, you body know, part. body part on a, on on a, on, yeah, on a person to they're her. attracted to. You know, whatever. Yeah. Good times. There we go. I'm not going to reveal myself. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite body part is Natalie. Aww. Gross. <laughs> There's not anything about Natalie, just as a whole. Just Natalie. No, I mean everything about her. There we go. Madison. All right. Fargo. Oh, North Kurt, North Dakota. Do you Hell, think? Yeah. How strong do you think her accent is? Do you? Think I hope it's one? so. I strong. hope it's so strong. And she's a business owner. Good for her. Yeah. She's ready to receive. Uh, 
the love that she gives to so many others while growing up, Madison took the role of caretaker for her two younger sisters. So I'm curious what she means. Oh, we early one-on-one sob story. So when it comes to her love life, her sisters are part of the package deal and Madison wouldn't have it any other way. Is she an orphan? <laughs> Was that bad? I can't, am I not allowed to say that? No, I know what you mean. Or maybe she had like super working parents or. I'm curious though, but it, 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 it reads There's as if. There's a story. There's a story coming. The fun facts. She dislikes all sauces. All sauces. Oh no. I loved her up to that point. All? Not even a barbecue? As, as a someone, like ketchup on a fry? As someone who's particular with his sauces, I, I appreciate not wanting... And I'm often like a no sauce on any sandwich because, I, I mean... Too much, too much. I can't stand mayo, so like mayo, like chipotle mayo, Fair. like whatever, Fair. secret sauce. It's all fucking mayo-based or whatever the fuck. But none? None. You're telling me you none? have your pasta dry. You have your meat. Nothing. Yeah, like how are we think talking... about pasta. Are we talking about like yeah, an Italian sauce? Are we talking like dipping sauce dipping that you sauce. Could get from McDonald's? Madison was a presidential scholar in college. What does it take to become a presidential scholar? I'm like, I think you got to be smart. Sure. Yeah, but we had a bunch of random stuff too. But yeah, but I like it's, it's not like it's not like you know if you said Rhodes Scholar, I would know. That seems like to me like there's a specific program within the university of like they select presidential scholars based on academic achievement. What was her superpower? The program. You want power... the power to pause time. See, that's kind of beautiful. Not turn back time, but just pause. Pause so she can enjoy it. Yeah. Remember? Like to keep a moment forever. Just okay. to like take a little longer to process. I don't know. I, Guys, I don't, she, we got a lot of layers here. I don't know if I'd want that because like any moment that lasts forever, it's kind of like, all right, can we move on? <laughs> <laughs> I no? Th- I think she also wants to unpause it. She just wants it to last longer? How long of a pause? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe good for sleep. So what I can't figure out with in regards to this presidential scholars program is... She's saying that she was a presidential scholar in college, but everything I've found is that this United States Presidential Scholars Program. uh, High school. Yeah. It's graduating seniors. I think some you either she's really she got it in high school and she's not letting anyone forget it or (laughs) the university has like a specialized. Yeah, the nation's top high school graduates. So, I mean, clearly maybe she wrote down like a high school accolade and someone who worked for the bachelor's like this can't be true. Like she meant college because no one would talk about what they accomplished (laughs) in high school. She's like my PSAT. How old is she? How old is she? 26. Yeah. It says she's worked extremely hard to get such a great place to be in such a great place in life. And says she's more than. She's ready. got her sob story ready some, to go. Yeah, that's what. There's a lot of. There's a lot happening here. I'm yeah, I have some questions for Madison. Business owner. I'm really curious of what. I don't. I don't mean Not that as like a, a critique. Factory. Yeah, I'm just like. <laughs> Not. But it's hard to own a business. Yeah. yeah. Women own business. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I just would like to know what. We're gonna hear what. a lot more about her. I and think. it says business owner, not entrepreneur. Yes. Very different. Because yeah. I was thinking about Carl or like, what's his name? Pizza Peter. Oh, you yeah. Know? All oh, the male yeah. business owners, nightmares. All the female business owners, awesome. epic girl she boss eats. aspirations. Oh. Well, we, we'll see. We'll, you know, we'll see. Okay. Ready for Mercedes 24. Cute. Okay. A nonprofit owner from Bloomfield, Iowa. A I love her already. A nonprofit owner. Oh. The skeptic in me like has, I'm just Curious about the nonprofit, like it, a nonprofit. Like I, I, if if someone under thirty starts a foundation, you don't trust. I, it. I, I don't trust you. <laughs> I'm not saying you're a bad person. Okay. I, I just, I'm not willing to throw you the. Oh, you're such an amazing person. So quickly as everyone else seems to be fair. I just skipped ahead, and it says that she has four jobs and works extremely hard to support herself. Okay, so that that definitely adds to it. Yeah, but interesting that they then chose the led with nonprofit. So to me, I think that's like her passion pro, like the project she is most like passionate about. But it's not necessarily like paying the bills. She seems wonderful. I have just found that people, you know, under thirty, like people who like haven't really. 
you know, like reached whatever their top of the mountain is and kind of like trying to figure out what, what could I do with all the success I've had and how could I give back it? They, they do it more for the, um, the accolades. Got it. Is, has been my experience. Um, that's not to say that that's what Mercedes is doing. Um, but you're just I, raising an eyebrow. The skeptic in me is, is not so quick to throw the ah at her, okay. you know, of, but uh, she's lovely. Um, Mercedes has been in two serious relationships, but both ended because she knew those men weren't her person. Okay. Oh, so it okay. was her. It was her. So yeah. she doesn't date people she doesn't like. And she also probably does not have a ton of experience with intense rejection. Maybe. 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 She's like, nah, it's not working. But uh, she loves uh, a night out in the town in Nashville. Okay. But she also, so she lives in Nashville now? Yeah, I guess she's just from Bloomfield. Uh, so she probably is maybe knows some bachelor people already. She also enjoys staying in and cuddling with her dog. Okay. We love dog people. Love that, yeah. Thank you. She's looking for a man who will make her laugh and is someone she can bring to family dinner on Sundays. Her hobby is showing pigs at the Iowa State Fair. That's a fun Hell fact. Hell yeah. That's okay, cool. love that. Love that. Oh. oh, her love language is giving and receiving gifts. If she comes from a pig farming family in Iowa, there's a chance that she's coming into a lot of money. Really? Tell us more, Allie. Really? I just feel like there are, there are some pig farmers in Iowa that are rolling. Also, if you ever want to get rid of a body... I would suggest dismembering it, putting it in pig troughs. They'll eat anything. Yeah, Snatch, the movie Snatch. Oh. Yeah. I learned that from the movie Snatch. I'm not sure where you learned that from. I'm not maybe. sure. I feel like she's... I feel like maybe it was murder. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I feel like she was like confessing and like really ready to yeah. get that off her chest. Oh, uh, yeah. That is uh, there are a lot of rich land-owning farmers in Iowa. Yeah, yeah. there are. Okay. Yeah. She loves to drive around with the windows down, blasting country music. Uh, she's got front runner energy. I could see her doing well. Yeah, so cute. cute. Yeah, there's a lot. She's she seems to have a lot going for her. Yeah, she's fun loving and bubbly. Okay. Bre- breaking news: As we're recording, we found out that uh, Selena Gomez is dating uh, one of the ch- chain smokers. Which dating one? chain smokers Drew Target. Okay. Is it ta- is it Target tar- Taggart Taggart probably? Target. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, I don't. I want to give credit, but Derek, our producer, said the other chain smoker must be so sad. He's lost his three-way buddy. But maybe not. Oh, oh, oh. Why? Sorry, I don't know. I don't want. No, I just because I I have no problem with group sex whatsoever. Go off, go and have so much fun. It's just when it's two fratty men, I do not trust them in a threesome. In terms of like, I don't. I don't know. They really have. He really has a frat boy face. I will say that. Yeah. But maybe I feel like the Selena documentary gave me a very high opinion of her intellect and ability to make choices for herself. So this is speaking. So we support. Yes. Yeah. I mean, he could be just a wonderful guy who just, you know, got caught just up. Says, Pussy first. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> maybe it was his other. Maybe it was the other guy. Who yeah, maybe it was the other guy who said. <laughs> Blame the other smoker. <laughs> Blame the other. Okay. Uh, Olivia, 24, a... patient care technician from Rochester, North. New I York. find her so captivating. Like, I can't break eye contact with her. She She's looks... giving me like a, de- like a dental. Yeah, but like, she like also ad. looks like when she was 12, she probably modeled for American Girl Doll. Yes, yes, yes. She looks like she's model. fresh off of a beach volleyball like championship. Yeah. Hmm. For sure, fresh. I mean, lovely. I, I, um. Yeah. yeah, I guess I'm. For Olivia L, basketball has always come easy. The one game she's yet to win is Olivia versus True Love. Wow. <laughs> and while this baller is here to find her teammate for life, in all caps, while basketball wasn't her first love, she's built a life outside of her sport, working full-time in healthcare and has dreams set on helping others as a physician assistant. Olivia has traveled to almost every state in the U.S., but still hasn't met her perfect match. She is looking forward to meeting Zach and is hoping to find a relationship that will stand the test of time. Oh, my. Watching Grey's Anatomy inspired Olivia's desire to work in the medical field. Okay. Well, that's taking inspiration, and wow. She'll okay. yell at people who litter. Honestly, I respect. Like that about her. Yeah. Me, too. Olivia comes from a family of jet skiing enthusiasts. She is sporty spice. She's I love sporty her. Spice. I can see her doing well. 
Yes. After yeah. that bio. Yeah. Oh, you know, first night she's doing a basketball thing. Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or <laughs> a jet ski. <laughs> or a jet ski. Brings in her own pool. <laughs> Well, she yells at people who litter. She's outspoken, won't be intimidated by a large group, you know, like competitive. Yeah. 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 She has all the. Oh, I like her. Also, I feel like my club volleyball years were some of the most like intense social like conditions I've ever been placed under. So I, I, like I could see her doing well. She's an athlete. Yeah. And I will say in the past 15 seconds, the picture's growing on me. Like I can't look at, away. At first, I was I'm like, hesitant to keep I was like, going. obviously a beautiful woman. <laughs> I was more, huh. but now, yeah, it's really. I oh, would she's captivating. It. Yeah, I would frame it in my own apartment. Yeah. Love. Mm -hmm. I think the period. It's also very a modeling picture. These pictures are so much better than. They're so good. Yeah. yeah. Well done. All right, Olivia number two, Olivia M, stylist from Cincinnati, Ohio. Who's she styling in Ohio? Come on, you're from the Midwest. You can't have like Midwest slander. I, I just, I'm not. But like, there you wasn't changed, a Nick. You're so LA now. There wasn't People a lot of clothes in Ohio. Oh, they there do. wasn't a lot of needs for style. It like, the, I'm sorry, the average person from the Midwest wasn't like you and I need a stylist. Fair. You know what? There, uh, yeah. Maybe there's some rich pig farmers that need a. Or I feel like when people. Like for maybe get a big promotion in a new job and they need to get a professional wardrobe. Yeah. They'll like hire someone like through a store. Yeah, like Nordstrom or something. They have their own like team. Yeah, she of could people. just be <laughs> in a store. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Born and raised in a small town with a loving family, Olivia M is looking for the love of her life. She may be a city slicker now, but Olivia. Wait, yeah, she's just from Ohio. We don't even know where she's at. They're very selective with these. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. We don't know. Probably LA. I feel like when they don't say where they are at now, it's Los Angeles. Yeah, she studied fashion and has a passion for all things style and design. So probably came here or New York. Yeah. Mm -hmm. went, to, went to fit them. Yeah. Whatever. Her special talent is sounding like a dolphin. I wouldn't call it special. but <laughs> That's an obnoxious <laughs> sound. Yeah, but you can't just do it. Try it. Go. No, I can't do it. And obviously, I'd be like, wow, that's pretty good. And then I'd be like, please never do that again. <laughs> you know she, she's going to do it. She, you know she's done that uh. super drunk in an Uber before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's like her call when she like loses her friends at like a, like when you're a few aisles over in Target. She's like, <laughs> that was pretty good. Thank you. She has know. color. She loves to read and has color coded her bookshelf. I mean, same. So, so that's specific. not a fun fact to me. No. Yeah, and, and that is not against Olivia M. That is against yeah. the Bachelor people. But she loves carbs. Fun fact. She's All not right. like other girls. <laughs> <laughs> right. She seems okay. particular. Yeah. Yeah. Hot yoga. Oh, she yeah. maybe. Oh, she yeah. She's a city slicker now, so she's in a city n unknown. Uh, she loves going to hot yoga, trying a new restaurants, calling up to the couch, and binge, and binge watch TV. She is hoping to meet a, a loyal and loving, loving, driven man. I bet her like Instagram grid is immaculate. Like I bet it's so stunning. Mm. Thing color coded. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, she's just no. As a stylist, though, is she like a lot of my stylist friends? Will on their Instagram is people they style. Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. But I think she would ensure quality of photos. Sure, sure. I'm just wondering if, if who's featured on the gram. Hmm. Or maybe she has a work gram. What if she like rolls gram. up opening night with like a, a tape measure kind of situation and like fits him? It is a good excuse Cute. to touch people. <laughs> That's <Cute>. very true. <laughs> <laughs> like the inseam? That's intimate. That should be like at least 1.5 base. Yeah, know? she should definitely. That's a good idea. That Yeah, yeah a, she should uh, check yeah. that inseam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cop a feel. <laughs> no. She okay. loves cra car carbs, not crabs. Crabs. <laughs> she does not have parents. crabs. She loves carbs. <laughs> she doesn't have crabs. Nobody. Olivia, Olivia does not have crabs and loves carbs. Uh, Sonia, is that right, Sonia? Yeah. Uh, she looks like trouble. She looks like she's gonna be trouble. I don't know why. I just got that vibe right away. Really? Like she's gonna be dramatic. I she's a project manager. Maybe okay, maybe not. Maybe it's the Long Island. My husband. You're commenting. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. It's also the first line, Sonia's the life of the party. Okay. Danger. Okay, do you guys agree? I feel like most people who are the life of the party do not describe themselves that way. 
I feel like a lot of people who I've met who are like, I'm the life of the party. I'm like, you don't read the room and you yeah, yell yeah, and yeah. talk louder than everyone else. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, yeah, but I think I don't think she's describing herself as the life of the party. This was a tangent, not an attack. Sonia, I don't mean it at all directed at you. Sonia, we're sorry. She knows she's ready for marriage and hopes Zach is her future husband. She says she's looking for a head over her heels kind she of love. She says. Why do they throw, like, yeah, there's there such a, a few difference those. between saying no, she doesn't ready. know what she wants, but she says it. <laughs> <laughs> she says Allegedly. that she's never embarrassed, but we all know she is. Family oriented. Uh, she wants to move to the suburbs one day and raise three golden <laughs> retrievers. <laughs> oh. And she is ready to be a dog dad. She is, hopefully, Zach is ready to be a dog dad. Yeah. Yep. She's been bungee ch- jumping twice. <laughs> twice <laughs> she never says no to game of truth or dare life of the party y'all <laughs> life of the party <laughs> uh, obsessed with Elvis she's obsessed with Elvis Sonia dreams of taking a trip to Arizona I know that's so pure so cute to me <laughs> that's like, so pure why yeah <laughs> there, I've never there, been to Arizona is there and I'm like sure it's there? lovely but I've never like Sedona, I've been wanting to go to because it's very. But like, of all the places you could dream to of go. Of all to, the places, it's yeah. very Arizona. Specific. It's got to be like a national park situation, right? Yeah, I don't know, guys. I feel like she's gonna be trouble. Just putting that out. There. All right, yeah. trouble or like. But the I mom love friend or what or the, maybe the mom friend. Okay, we love a mom I don't friend. Know. Okay, Vanessa. Vanessa could model for Gucci, Coach, Tom Ford. Anything she really wanted to. Yes. Also, the first like shorter hair that we've seen. That's yeah. a great point. It's kind of striking. It is. It looks good. In a sea of extensions. Yes. One woman. Look at that natural. She's a Chris Jenner fan. Same, girl. Same. Vanessa's ready to say goodbye to the well, single life. Well, if you, you know, you're, Ali, you're a very boss lady. Thank you're, you. Like, you don't. Appreciate it. Like, yeah. So, <laughs> and Chris Jenner certainly has that energy. Yes. She's a restaurant marketer. I feel like restaurant. You got to be a I, boss. Uh, Ven- Venice that could be a villain. Ooh, not because saying... she's a real villain. It's not. I was a villain, so calm down. Uh, get this look of death from Allie. I'm just saying, like, if she doesn't take shit from people, like as you've heard me say oftentimes, the biggest bully in that house is the mob, the in group, and if she's someone who kind of thinks for herself and isn't afraid to like set boundaries, uh, sometimes you can get ostracized as uh, a villain. Um, so I'd, ju- I'd just be curious if, um, yeah. You know, Chris Jenner could be a villain in, in Bachelor Nation. Yeah, probably. Uh, uh, we love a, a girl that dreams. <laughs> We love a girl that dreams big. Why does that sound condescending? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it really does. It really it's does. like Vanessa works in marketing and strives to be as successful as Chris Jenner. We love a girl who dreams big. Good luck with Just that. Just like such a pat yeah. on the head. Yeah. And by girl, we mean almost mom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and while she's passionate about her work, Vanessa's priority right now is also finding a life partner, of course. I would love a bio that says she's like so, so in love. Yeah. Yeah. She's just here for fun. Yeah, because... One could argue most of the people who go on The Bachelor aren't looking, you know, love isn't their top priority. She's passionate about social media. Uh, Growing up, Vanessa played a lot of freeze tag. Okay. Love that. She loves cherries. Just loves loves them. Loves cherries. They are good fruit. Dream duet partner is Barry Gibb of the B. Who's Barry Gibb? Bee Gees. Barry Gibb of the Bee Gees. Okay. And also, do duet. Is she singing? Is she? She must oh, sing. Yeah. Oh. She's a singer. That that's a clever way of si- of of suggesting you're fucking awesome at singing. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of because like she it, you don't sing. You have to. It. You're a good singer if you dream about your favorite duet. Yeah. So like, specific. Like a less tactful version is like she'll crush it at karaoke, and it's like no, she. Really, show don't tell. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Vanessa. Yeah, she she's seems classy. Be fun to watch, I think. She seems classy. Yeah. I was also like, I, I feel like she has a higher. I could picture her at some point in the season going up to one of the girls and like saying, "Stop disrespecting yourself." You know what I'm that. saying? I feel like yeah. she could really like in like mom energy, but in a very like tough love. Yeah. Sort of yeah. way, like you're better than this. Stop it. Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. In a very Chris Jenner way. Pull it yeah, right? Together. Like, pull it together. Oh, yeah. That's a good You're one. embarrassing yourself. Uh, we already covered Victoria. 
Yeah. Tori J married hard. She's married. Or sorry, not married. She like recently got divorced and is like full on marketing that. That's a lot. Wait, okay. Is that she's married? What if? Let's just say I like as what if I was married and I somehow snuck my way onto The Bachelor and then my big one on one date thing was like, I'm already married and I'm looking for a third. Like kind of ambushed. Would ABC allow it? I'm pretty sure they would dig up the fact that you were married before. Well, no, but but I would know. But I'd be like, I don't. If know you what walked to tell into them. the casting room and was like, I'm just going to keep it real with you, I am married, <laughs> um, and I'm in a polyamorous relationship. I'm I'm happy to. I feel like they. Would I'd love, love for you it. to meet my partner. You know, who's down? For, like it's always been a dream of mine. You know, I think yeah, of course. They would Why? Love they'd it. be crazy to say no to that. Uh, I would wait until soon. hometowns. To <laughs> yes, yes. And who are we? This is today? my wife. <laughs> <laughs> this is my mother-in-law. My father-in-law. <laughs> Here are our children. Oh yeah, my god, that'd be great. How do do better bachelor casting? That can't be hard to find in 2023. Some I feel like you'll see it soon. Right? Yeah, you're planting the seeds. Also, have we had like a bisexual contestant? Well, one that we know. Well, two. We had. Um, uh, a lovely woman from my season. She was bisexual. Openly on the show or afterwards? Openly, yeah. I believe she talked about it. Um, and then obviously Demi. Wonderful person, yeah. Uh, Victoria E. is a beautiful, positive woman who is striking. Looks, yeah, yeah, she looks striking. From Austria. Austria. A nanny from Austria. So like this is one of those things where other women, it's like she's from North Dakota but now she lives in a city that we don't know of. And I'm almost willing to bet she is now currently or has nannied yeah. in Austria, but is from like, you know, Tacoma. She was born and raised in Austria. But moved she was. to the United States by oh. herself in 2013. Wow. Okay. Oh, well what? then shut the fuck up, Nick. <laughs> yeah. One thing I'm flagging is she has a necklace that has a letter on it, but it's an A, not a V. Austria. Yeah. <laughs> For Austria? <laughs> Yeah. Victoria currently lives in New York City where she loves being the life of the party and is always up for a new adventure. She's a natural caregiver and is passionate about working with children, so she can't wait to have a family of her own. Victoria enjoys listening to country music and dreams of visiting Hawaii one day. Now that's a goal total, setter. Yeah. Also total non sequitur. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like why is that in the same I, sentence? <laughs> Hawaiian country music. Don't, yeah. Typically. Oh, true. true, true, true. But also like that's a place to dream of going. Yeah. yeah. Not Arizona. <laughs> Sorry, Arizona. <laughs> she doesn't eat blue corn tortilla chips. No. That's annoying. They taste the same. Right? I also think they're delicious. Yeah. Don't they taste the same? I think But I would, blue? Yeah. <laughs> Don't they taste the same but blue? They well, they just blue. happen to be blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like if it was, a, it was a blind taste test, she wouldn't be like, oh, a blue one. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> just spits it out. If she is the runner up and we interview her on this podcast, I would love to do Do a blind taste. Blind oh, taste. We, yes. we could get red ones, we could get blue ones, yeah. normal ones. One that's like a salt and vinegar chip. What does it say about <laughs> Christmas movies? Wrong. She loves Christmas movies. She lives for cheesy Christmas music. I wonder well, I got one movies. for her. I wonder if she has. Christmas cruise. Yeah. So fun fact. Um Last year, I was home by myself, and I wrapped up filming 2020, and my parents were out of town, so I just drank a copious amount of wine and watched a Christmas cruise, and I was like, there's I, Nick! I starred in it, yeah. <laughs> Where can this be seen? I, I, every every Christmas, I get uh, a couple of tweets and DMs. It, it seems to be prominently shown. Christmas cruise? Like, Starring Vivica A. Fox Can you give us and the myself. log line? Uh, yeah, Vivica A. Fox finds herself uh, love-struck, or heartbroken, I'm not sure. And um, she goes on a cruise and falls in love with uh, a guy who's working on mm -hmm. the cruise. And How fun! I'm the cruise ship manager. Uh, uh, mm. Bob? I had a lot. Bob. I had a lot of questions about you. You look character. like a Bob. Yeah. For example, you seem to be, you know, head bitch in charge in a way. Why were you also like bringing towels to room 215? Because I'm humble and I, you know. No I, job too small. No, no job too small. Or Bob. Yeah. Cool. I was literally vacuuming moments before I we mean, started recording that. this episode. But just like in the That's where I got it from. Yeah. <laughs> Your work ethic came yeah. from Bob. That, well, that's how I like worked, worked the character. Got it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. All right. 
But I will say Hallmark movies are not always known for their accurate depiction. Of My dad's one dream in life is for me to be on Hallmark. I think he'd rather me be in a Hallmark Christmas movie than like win an Oscar. Do you have to star in it or just be in it? Nick's like, I can make it happen. Because I feel like, yeah, we can make this happen. Like, if I was like an extra? I don't no, know. No, but like would... lines. Feature oh, lines. if I had yeah. any sort of line, that would be it. Feel yeah. free. I think we make this happen. But great. My yeah. dad would would just slip that. I'm not any day, like, but so I think if we would just put it out there, mm -hmm. uh, I am certain there are casting directors in Hollywood who listen to this podcast. I know it. Get her in. I'm 100% I'm certain ready. of it. Put this woman on your channel. Please. Uh, she does voices. Uh, she went to, she studied, give out your resume. I graduated with honors in musical theater. <laughs> yeah. At Northwestern yes. University. Northwestern. Big deal. Yeah. Uh, and, and you graduated and, and Maude Apatow dropped out and she's That's acting. True. That's so. true. So you should have dropped out. <laughs> Damn just it. Saying. <laughs> well, no. Just saying, you know, yeah. for any, any casting directors out there who, uh, who are producing, who know of a, a Christmas movie. I'm not even, it doesn't, maybe even we expand any sort of those like Christmas movies. Cause like Lifetime does them too. Oh yeah. We don't need to be exclusive. The Hallmark. Yeah. Mine was on Ion. So. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I look at you and think Christmas. <gasps> Thanks, Lisa. Yeah. Yeah. That's like you're gonna Sparkle. be on the Hallmark Channel. I'll be on the Amazing Race. <laughs> yeah, so big be on a launch pad. All right. Fun fact. Is that it? Uh, she loves to listen to Nora Jones and Paint. That's a vibe. That's a mood. She loves to listen to Nora Johnson and Paint. Cute. I. I she is a. She seems like a high value. She. You don't move across the country like she. Yeah, she moved to the United States by herself in 2013, so nine, almost 10 years ago. She, she got herself on The Bachelor. Yeah. She didn't just happen to fall into it. She makes things happen. Yeah. Love that. And she's a little older, 29. I'm not older in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. She will be, we, I, I just, I, I'll, I'll find it, I'll be surprised if we don't get to know her. Yeah. And also, yeah, intrigued by anyone who's a nanny, I feel like has their shit together. And maybe that's what I was thinking with the necklace. Maybe it's like an A for... A kid she what watches kid? or something. Yeah. I'm intrigued. I feel like they all look so interesting. It's a it's an attractive group. Very yeah, attractive. They seem uh it seems like an impressive group. You yeah. know, they got some good resumes. They're all dropped out. They could have a if there's a medical emergency, like oh, oh yeah. Yes. They could staff a we hospital have all department. That's covered. every season though. There are a lot like of nurses. Was, I think I had seven lot. nurses. No kidding. Or people in the medical field, yeah. T like teachers and there's more nurses than teachers. There's a, there's usually a healthy mix of if you combine teachers and, and nurses, I'd say that's always at least a third of the cast. Are there teachers in the first half that you guys did? I don't remember a lot of teachers. There's definitely more nurses than teachers. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Why do they pull from those two groups? Uh, they I think prominently watch the show. Okay. Uh, oh, so interesting. you're I think they're you're you're getting more um, applications. Um, and maybe. Maybe it frees them up to take a leave of absence more than maybe other professions. Got you. Yeah, like nurses, a lot of nurses, you know, it's, it's not, I think nurses are fairly, like, you know, there's a, always a need for good nurses. Um, there's flexibility where, where you can, you know, if you're in healthcare, you kind of. I don't see any teachers. Yeah. I think wow. Victoria being a nanny is the closest one we've gotten. The teacher, yeah. Very attractive gals. Yeah, no, it's well, a very, it's a striking group, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people in marketing as mm -hmm. they scroll back. I mean, we have a child and family therapist, but that's not really teaching. Not, no, Shout out no, charity. no teachers. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, and then next week we have the premiere. The yeah, night one of Zach's season. Woo! How We're, is it a three-hour extravaganza? No, I don't think so. No, I hope not. I mean, have we? I don't think so. Well, we'll be here breaking it down. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, Lisa, anything uh, we can promote for you? Oh, sure. I'm on YouTube all the time. Okay. That's uh, Where can we find Lisa that? YouTube.com slash Leasebug. I also have a podcast called Ungroundable, where we interview guests and they reveal secrets that they've been holding on from their parents all these years. <gasps> and it's been so funny. That sounds, so that's crazy. a good premise. Oh yeah, I mean, it's such a great intro into people um, and people have been holding on to secrets. Can you give, what was your favorite secret? There's one that came out today um, where we actually had the mom come on as well. Ooh. And this woman revealed basically that she was like a big time drug dealer in college, like paid for her first apartment from it. And her mom 
had no idea. And I don't know if it ended very well, but the reactions were amazing. Just a full secret life that she revealed to her mom. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Drug dude. How did mom handle it? Too. Mom was shocked. <laughs> like, obviously, she's fine now and she is successful and all this, but mom had no clue. She's like, Yeah, mom, don't you wonder why I never asked you for any money? How I got that a first apartment? Yeah. Wow. So, I'm grounded. And you can check that out wherever you listen to Correct, yeah. podcasts. Yeah. It is also on YouTube. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, well, check out Lisa's podcast. We'll be back uh, next week with uh, Ariana from Vanderpump Rules to help break down episode one. So fun. Of Zach Season Plus. I'm sure we'll get some Vanderpump tea as well. And uh, don't forget to check out uh, Ask Nick. We give uh, some uh, a little proposal details on this week's Ask Nick. Plus, I, I kind of talked about what I was going to do. And then Thursday, we kind of talked about how it actually went down. Um and uh, what else oh oh yeah and also just some great calls like uh my parents might be swingers was uh, that was one of my favorite ones yeah pineapples who knew um so yeah anything else i'm missing oh also don't forget amp on thursday night 9 p.m eastern 6 p.m pacific better date than never if you are someone who likes hearing people's dating stories we're helping people get ready for dates giving them tips and tricks it's live it's interactive we're also breaking down dates and helping people shoot their shots and going over bios very dating specific less relationship you know like with ask nick it's very much talking about relationships that are happening this is more about dates and helping people like get out there because it's such a grind so check us out you have to listen to it on amp so, I love that you guys are doing that live. I feel like that's crazy and brave and it's going to be really fun. Uh, it's going to be great. So be sure to check that out. That's this Thursday. Don't forget, set your reminder, set your calendar, tell your friends. And uh, anything we're missing? Ladies, anything? Anything, Derek? Maybe? Thanks for listening. Me and Natalie on Going Deeper on Thursday. Break, you're just getting into the weeds, crying, being oh, in love. tears from both of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're really in our, we're, we're you know, in your feels. We're, fr we're thriving as a couple. I'm really bummed. She's, she's going to Paris, um, and that was planned, and I knew that before I proposed, but I really didn't anticipate the high we'd be on. Uh, but it'd be fine. But, you know, she doesn't really want to go. Now she she really doesn't want to go. I now. know. Yeah. It will be so exciting picking her up from the airport. I was going to say, like, you're going to be so giddy. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Lisa, always a pleasure. Uh, uh, thanks for having welcome me. Welcome back anytime. Yeah. Uh, best, I was going to say best of luck. When people say best of luck, like best of luck. Damn. Uh, <laughs> good luck with life. Thanks. <laughs> uh, no, we love you. Hope you uh, come back anytime. And uh, bye. Bye.